Um, just make another pipe. Picked myself up some Jermaine's special Latakia flake the other day. I watched uh, watched a video of someone smoking some uh, Penzance, which is uh, a blend by Storica, who are effectively made by Jermaine's, uh, but only for the US market. I was, I was watching a guy called Matches860, who is a chap called John, who lives in Connecticut. I think it's Connecticut. Connecticut or Minnesota. No, Connecticut. And he was saying how it was made by Jermaine and I hadn't picked that up at all. I figured I'd pick up a tin, see what it was like. And uh, it's brilliant. It's really good. If you like your ladder keys, oh, it's cold out here. My, my nose is running a little bit in my conservatory. It's pretty chilly. If you like your Latakias mixed with, um, oh, it's a classic Latakia mixture uh, with Virginia and Oriental Pleasant Flake and Age to give extra character. Comes in the 50 gram tin. Um, not like other 50 gram tins. Quite small. Uh, but it does mean that, it, it, I like it. I think it's very much of the old tobacconist. You know, you'd, you'd expect the old stool tobacconist to wrap your tobacco in some nice wax paper. Yeah, you can see. It's a broken flake, it's not, you know, leaves or anything like that. It's very much this broken flake, a bit like uh, Golden Glow and stuff like that. But I do love this little pouch, this little tin. You know, it's the kind of tin that fits in your pocket quite nicely. Mm. And so far I've had some cracking flavours out of it, you know, some, it's tasted like strawberries and cream for the old boiled sweets that you used to get, um, cookie dough, I think. I don't want to listen to Lucy Power. I'm listening to a bit of Miles Davis jazz, don't know much about jazz other than He's supposed to be a very good jazz musician, um, and I and I like it. So I'm not too snobby or anything. Just my music tastes go from AC/DC to classic to jazz to rave music to all sorts. Sorry. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting because I'm watching on YouTube, listening to it on YouTube. I just give it a that. Okay. Ads on YouTube, don't you? So, if you're looking for something a bit different, um, I mean, I can only really think of the other tobacco that I've had in 2015 that was blew my mind really. It was just so good. Is Seattle Pipe Club Plum and Pudding, and so good. I had to get someone to get me some from the states. Yeah. Someone to bring me some back, and uh, oh, great stuff! I've got. I haven't even opened these tins. Of um, Chris Shaw, uh, you might know his brother Jay Vegas. He he uh, sent me some. And, oh, brilliant! I really really liked it. So much I had to go and buy some. Again, it's one of those blends you can only get in the states. So, a bit like McClelland and uh, their ranges and their Bob Morton. Which again I like very much. Um, smoking this in my Savonelli Linear Artisan Pipe. Um, this is my bargain pipe that I picked up in a, a little junk shop in Totnes in Devon. Uh, if you know Totnes at all, there's a little junk shop just at the top of the hill as the road goes round to the left. Um, it does like music and stuff. It was just sat in the window, calling to me. So I went in and had a chat with the guy. See if I could uh, 
get it for a tenner because at that point I knew, didn't know anything about it. I thought this is seven early, but it also says linear. I, I don't know. It might just be a cheap pipe. But once I bought it and had a look at it and done some research, found out that uh, the linear range is quite good. Um, like Savinelli's anyway, they make very good pipes. The only thing was a little chip in the stem here. Very small nick. But it doesn't, I don't know whether this is vulcanite or not. It's, it doesn't seem to oxidise like my other vulcanite stems, so I'm presuming it's an acrylic type of thing. So yeah, back to the tobacco. I mean, it's very nice. The complexity of it. If you're a novice pipe smoker, or you've only really ever smoked aromatics, I certainly wouldn't recommend this. It's complicated, smoky, um, with the Latakia in it. I don't know how much Latakia is in it. Um, I had to get it from my smoking shop um, because GQ didn't have it in stock and I'm an impatient person, I had to have it. Bought it along with some three Dunhill three year matured Virginia. I think they're doing a little like. But uh, yeah, so I've been watching a few few bike making videos. Decided that my, perhaps the more, the better way to go with videos is be more relaxed and chilled. Because obviously smoking a pipe, I don't know about you guys, but I find it a very relaxing procedure. Although my feet are like blocks of ice, the rest of me is pretty warm. Um, Perhaps I should just do a little one, do a little video about pipe smoking. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, this JF Germain's special Latakia Flake uh, cracking smoke. Uh, it's mild, to medium. It's definitely not whoosh, hit you in the face, full bodied. So complex flavours in there. Um, the perhaps the more novice pipe smoker might not pick up. I mean, I'm no, I'm no seasoned expert. I've been smoking pipes for just over 10 years now. Let's say properly for the last five to six years. You know, I've amassed a big collection. I do like to buy the odd pipe on YouTube and uh, obviously <laughs> my conservatory is full of them. You may have seen the, the pipe drawer. I suppose you have a bit of music makes you ramble. But, uh, <coughs> just having a wee drop of white and McKay mixed with some ginger ale. Do love that. My favourite drink. I mean, this is quite a big pipe for me as well. But actually a relatively small bowl. Better than Nording, as I mentioned earlier. Anyway. Um, yeah. This Latakia Flake is excellent. Uh, I think I'm going to have to um, do some more experimenting with Latakia Flake and... See if there's any more. I think there's a Baron Latakia Flake. Mm. Let's see what else is around. I do like Latakia. It's nice. <coughs> anyway, until the next time. Happy smoking.